20, yes, 20 major pros and cons of living in Naples, Florida. On today's video, I'm going to read this article. Well, I may not read it word for word, but I saw this article the other day and I want to give you my knee jerk reaction on these 20 things. I've only slightly glanced through this article, but I already knew at the beginning and I wanted you to see my honest reaction to some of these points and what I think about these points in regards to living in Naples, Florida. So let me look over here at my computer screen. It talks a little bit first and foremost about the city of Naples, where we're located, uh, the amount of people we have here, about 20,000 people in the metro area and about 322,000 people throughout the entire area of Naples. It's a large county, call your county. Um, let's look here. It also talks about the highest, Naples also has the second highest proportion of millionaires per capita in the population in the county and that should tell you right off the bat that homes are a little bit more expensive here because of that all right first one here list of pros of living in naples the job market is thriving in naples without even reading this section i can completely attest to that the thrive market is crazy i work with a lot of vendors around me every day from painters home people licensed uh, ac uh, electricians inspectors all of these companies are looking to hire people because there is a high demand for employment in those fields. So totally agree with this first one here. The job market is thriving. Number two, you're going to love the weather in Naples each year. This is a no brainer. I don't even think I need to talk about this one, but the weather is so awesome. I was working with a Canadian this last week and they asked me, well, it gets so hot in the summer. It gets warm, yes, but really what it gets is humid. That's what it gets. But if you can stay inside or in some type of air conditioned space between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., you're going to be just fine. Or if it's going to sprinkle or rain during the day, it will bring down that temperature as well. Most of us spend most of the day indoors. And the third option I typically tell people in regards to the weather is go to the beach, hit a pool, get in the water, go kayaking, do something with water. That cools you off right away. So the weather, beautiful, love it all year round. Number three here, it says there are still affordable places to live if you choose Naples. Now, that's becoming more difficult. In this article, it talks about uh, homes that will find you in the area for $250,000. Um, I have not seen a home in the Naples area sell for under $300,000 probably in the last six months. So home prices are moving up. I would disagree with this. It is becoming every day less affordable to live here in Naples. Now that doesn't mean there's opp not opportunities. It's, again, it's a huge area. So there are homes that you may be able to find if you have a decent income that are maybe around 350 to 400, but that price continues to drip up every day. But don't be discouraged because there are towns outside, right beside Naples, like Bonita Springs, Estero, Fort Myers, that has ha, that still has some housing prices that are closer to this 250 to $300,000 price point. You may have to drive a little bit if you're heading into Naples, but hey, that's okay, you're still in the area. Number four here talks about real estate opportunities are communal by design. And I think what they're talking about here is basically HOAs or gated communities. And yes, there are so many of those. I get asked all the time from buyers, uh, well, do you know about this community? And I hate to say it, but most of them I don't because there are so many gated communities all the way from Marco Island, Naples, Benita, Estero, Fort Myers, Cape Coral. There's gated communities everywhere. Now, I've been in a lot of them, but not all of them. And I don't know everything about all of them. There are a lot of communal areas. We love our gated communities. We love our HOAs. Well, some of us do. All right, let's jump into the next one. Number five, Naples provides an excellent golfing atmosphere. It sure does. Oh my goodness, I'm not even a golfer and I want to be because there are awesome opportunities to golf around here. There's private courses, there's public courses, there's driving ranges, there's putting ranges. Uh, my, my son Johnny's friend lives in a community that has this little pitching course. It's awesome. People who live there can just jump on for free. You just need your pitching wedge and your putter, basically. It's just a real short nine hole course. So yeah, totally agree with this one, number five. Number six, many of the neighborhoods and communities in Naples provide gated services. Security, we just talked a little bit about that. We have a ton of, of gated communities around here. In regards to the gated communities, some are called gated, but they actually don't even have a gate. Don't quite understand that. But most of them have a gate. They will either have a lift gate at the entrance where there's a barcode that scans on the side of your car, or it will have a manned guard gate. I say man, it could be a lady as well too, but somebody is there checking ID to make sure you live in the community. So those are very popular. Number seven, you can enjoy a, res a resort style atmosphere when living in Naples. That's so true. When we moved back down here from North Florida, we moved into this 2000 home 
community called Verona Walk. It was awesome. We loved it. The problem was I just sat by the pool a lot and didn't work because I felt like I was at a resort. It had a ton of amenities there at the pool, had a restaurant, tennis courts, basketball courts, bocce's court. It just had a lot of stuff to do there. So yeah, totally agree with that. Number eight here is it could be the perfect place to retire. Uh, I would disagree with this. It says it could be. I would say it is the perfect place to retire. This area is nice. It's relaxed. The restaurants, the food, the entertainment, perfect for anybody looking to retire. Number nine, celebrity sightings are possible when you live in Naples. That's so true. Um, I'm trying to think the last person I saw that's famous around here. I get to see quite a bit. I see politicians. Our governors are down here quite a bit. We have people that are on professional football teams that come down here quite a bit in their off season and hit the beach. So yeah, this is completely true. Um, talks about people who live down here, like it says in this article, Larry Bird. Yep, saw him at a basketball game about three years, three or four years ago. He was at a high school basketball game, just taking it in. Uh, number ten, you can get you get to experience the primeval joy of swamp buggy racing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you do get to. I don't know if enjoy is the right word or experience. Yeah, experience is a good word. Experience. I've never even been to one, but there are a few around here. So if you like getting muddy, or if you just like cars and trucks get muddy perfect for you number 11 you won't find a better sunset than naples offers um can't agree or disagree with that because i haven't seen all the sunsets around the world i'm sure there are beautiful sunsets around the world but i can attest to naples sunsets go to the pier uh, down off of fifth avenue in naples on any given night depending on the cloud cover they're gorgeous i mean you're standing there on the naples pier with 100 to 200 people the sun sets and you get a round of applause that's pretty cool Number 12, the crime rate in Naples, super low. Talks about Naples 37%, 37% below the national average. It's probably even lower than that. I lived in Chicago for a while. Ugh, crime rate, oh my goodness, up there, down here. Yeah, it's a great area to be a police officer because crime rate is so stinking low. All right, list of cons. Here we go. Let's jump into some cons of living in Naples. Number one, if it isn't sunny in Naples, then you can expect some heavy rain. Yeah, that's true. We do get heavy rain. It'll downpour usually in the afternoons during the summer months. You can almost set your clock to 3 p.m. when the uh, ty what do they call it? typhoon? No. I don't know when it rains real hard for a short amount of time we typically get that in the summer quite a bit so yeah completely agree with that we do get a lot of heavy rain but what's really cool is it rains for that short period of time and then the sun pops right out it's awesome number two traffic can still be problematic if you commute into the city it's funny that it's even called a city naples because i've lived in big cities like chicago and it's not really a city like that i always joke because during the season like january through april we almost double in our population down here. And yes, there is a lot of traffic. And what do I mean by that? It takes you another five minutes to get to Publix than what it did before. Number three here, warmer weather means the insects are larger in Naples. Yeah, we have big bugs. That's just all there is to it. But if you have a good uh, pest control guy, you don't have much to worry about. But yeah, we have spiders, cockroaches. Those seem to you know, freak people out quite a bit. We do have big bugs. They grow big. They love our weather here. They love the humidity, all that fun stuff. Number four, you could be paying high or thousands of dollars each year in HOA fees. Yeah, I pretty much guarantee you that. The community that Angie and I and the kids live in, we pay $300 a month for our HOA fees. So what are we looking at there? $3,600 a year, so almost $4,000 a year in HOA fees. But to me, I love it because I don't have to mow my yard, don't need a weed eater, don't need buy gas for a mower, don't need anything for my landscaping outside love all that it also covers my basic cable and my internet service provider so i don't have a separate bill for those so to me it's a good win and i have access to the community pool the clubhouse basketball courts tennis courts all that cool stuff so it's worth a couple thousand a year for those things number five per capita spending in naples is double the median income of the united states okay i'll just go with that you can read the numbers there on how much that is but yeah i would completely just from visually watching people spend money around here. Yeah, that's uh, pretty obvious, especially if they're out to eat. Um, man, that can be expensive. All right, number six, you're going to need to learn how to like tourists in Naples. That's true, but you gotta learn to like tourists anywhere in the world, don't you? Because every town has some tourists that pop in these days. But yeah, we have a lot of tourists in Naples. We have people from Europe that come to visit quite a bit, South America, um, of course, all throughout the US, people love Florida. That's just the way it goes. But I love it. I don't mind it. I love tourists. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for spending your money here. Thanks for being friends. We like you. Number seven says there aren't many opportunities for kids in Naples. 
I don't know what they're talking about on this one. They really missed the boat on this number seven here. Uh, I have three kids. There's stuff for them to do everywhere. Uh, we live by Estero Rec Center. It's an awesome community park. Our kids can go there anytime, go indoors, play basketball, uh, weight lift, hit the gym, do whatever they want. There's a ton of activities they offer there. It's a huge park best probably swing set my kids ever enjoyed uh there's plenty of trees to climb the beach bike rides i mean i don't know what this guy's talking about or gal whoever wrote this article this one's way off the loop here we got a zoo i mean we got a ton of stuff water parks number eight housing costs are going to set you back a massive amount yeah they're dead on with this one here especially now but if this article was written back in 2010 11 12 13 14 15 even up to 16 no housing was very relative the income is good here in southwest florida and the housing market hadn't shot back up as it has in the last year so it's very affordable and it wasn't going to set you back up uh, that much but right now yeah it probably does all right that's it for this one uh conclusion he's got some conclusion here stuff about how awesome naples is you already know that from watching these videos i'm john c gonna be another video pop up here or here thanks for watching hit that subscribe button below have a great week